Hello, my name is Rowena Hay. I am leader of Cheltenham Borough Council and I'm here today at the Minster Grounds um, Church. As you know, we've done lots of films and told you lots about the Minster Exchange um, and the exciting project that's coming forward with that. But here, I'm here today to talk about the Minster Gardens and the re regeneration of uh, that very special place right in the heart of our town. And as we know, over the years, there's been a lot of antisocial behaviour and, and um, issues around the Minster Gardens. So this is a really exciting project. And I'm going to walk you through the plans that we've got. Some things will happen sooner than others. It will be a staged project. So we're going to start with these amazing pillars that are very tired and old, and these will be restored, which is very exciting because it will create a much nicer environment as you walk in to the Minster Gardens. And then as we walk through the Minster Gardens, there will be more planting that will happen. Here, for example, there's a potential for there to be a pathway of stones that you walk through which will improve the biodiversity of, of this particular area. We've now moved on up through the churchyard to almost to the point of where the alleyways are. And I just wanted to show you some of the, the plans here. So the paths that you can see and the lighting. The lighting will be improved and there will be new lighting, but all of the old existing lighting will step, oh, columns will stay in place. We will also use the edging slabs again to, to, to improve the paths. It's really important that we actually remember that this is a conservation area and, and it's important historically that we use as much as we can of, these, of the, the, the existing materials that are here. As you can see, the sunlight is, is quite dappled and at times it can be really quite dark in here. So all of the trees will have their crowns lifted therefore allowing more light into the churchyard, which in itself will make it a much more welcoming place for people to come and sit and just relax and enjoy those, these beautiful surroundings, because this is our little hidden gem. It's our oldest building in Cheltenham, the Minster Church, which is, is, is often, people don't even know it exists. So hopefully with signage and, and creating a much more welcoming space, people will want to come and, and, and just enjoy this space. Another part of the restoration of, of this space is of course the really important, very ancient medieval tombstones that we've got, including the cross. So this will have some restoration done to it to, to improve it. As you can see in the distance there, we've got the, the tabletop tombs that are in much need of restoration. Not all of them, will be restored, but those that are in greatest need will be. So as you can see, when you move into this particular bit of the space, you can see what lifting the crowns of the trees will do, because it's much, much lighter here. And of course, this will have much more seating and um, planting. As you can see, there's an, a, a path here that's well, well used, actually isn't a path. So that will have a proper path, so you won't have mud. There. In itself, that will greatly lift up this area. So this is the final bit that I want to talk to you about today. As you can see behind me, I have the west door to um, the Minster Church. And then if I walk around a little bit, you'll see, and I've, I've just described to you, in this area that I'm stood, there'll be a circular seating area that will also have plants. And up on the bank behind that, there will also be raised beds. What that will create is, is an amphitheatre style um, space that people can come and perform in, people can come and just sit and dwell and congregate. And of course the really important linkage is, is the path that will be created across here that will join the Minster Exchange to, to this area, opening it all up. And you mustn't forget that we've got the Children's Library and the Wilson. And with the Wilson improvements, that will have an outdoor space as well that will, again, create more people and, and a much, much nicer environment and space for people to come and, and just live in. This is going to planning now. It has to go to the diocese. It also has to go to the council planning. So fingers crossed that in November, when it goes through, all, of, all that I've just described will actually get planning permission. 
we can transform this space right in the heart of Cheltenham in a very important conservation area.